Well, let's have a quick look at a man page here. I'll say man bash. How about that? Hey, look at this. Oh, you know, this might be nice if we color code it. Let's do that. So quit out of that, hitting Q. And we're going to need a program uh, called most. Uh, if it's not installed, let's do sudo aptitude or apt-get if you're on Ubuntu or use whatever package manager you have on your system or prefer. And we'll say install most. It should ask for your password because hopefully you don't allow just randomly anybody to install software on your computer. And once it's downloaded and installed, now we still have to, you know, if we go back into our man page, it's not color coded. We can say export and in all capital, P-A-G-E-R, pager equals, and we'll say most. And if we enter now and we go back into our man page, we now have some color coding going on. Some nice little red keywords all highlighted there. So uh, if we were to, and I'm using Terminator here, so I'm going to split my screen. If I man bash again down here, oh, it's not color coded, but it's color coded up here. What's going on with that? Well we haven't exported the pager variable in this terminal. So how do we set it up so that we can uh, don't have to export it every single time? Well, as we've talked in the past, in your home directory, there should be, and if there's not, you can create a file called uh, .bashrc. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Unix-based systems such as Linux, um, any file that starts or folder that starts with a period is a hidden file and lots of times these are configuration files so real quick I'm gonna use vim as my text editor but you can use whatever text editor you want I'm gonna say my home directory dot bash rc I don't have anything in my bash rc file but you may depending on your operating system and what I'm gonna say in here is our export pager remember it's all capital equals most now that that's saved, that's a little script that will run every time you start up a new bash session. So we still have our highlighted up here, but if I open up a new window, uh, such as this one here, and I man bash, we now have color coding without having to do that export every single time. It will automatically run every time we start a new session, and that's for all man files, so I can man PV and you can see that it's highlighted. We can also man, I don't know, timeout. I'm just thinking of programs I've just recently done videos on. So that's it. I hope you found this useful. Once again, if we, uh, let's see, I'll just cat it out, dot bash RC in my home directory. The command is export capital pager equals and in quotations most most is the program that we installed at the beginning and uh, you can either run that manually each time or put it in your bash rc file and your man files will be color code keywords will be highlighted uh, by default in red i'm sure there's probably a way to change that but i don't know off the top of my head if you enjoy this tutorial found it useful i have plenty of tutorials over at my site filmsbychris.com that's chris with a k there should be a link in the description if you enjoy this tutorial and you enjoy my other tutorials, find them useful and want to help support my site, keep these tutorials coming, there is a donate button on my website and I would appreciate a donation if you have the ability to donate. Also, um, if you have any questions, do not put them in the comments on the YouTube channel. That is a great way to not get your questions answered. You can comment on YouTube videos if you want if you have something to say. But if you have a question, please visit filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC. There should be a link to that in the description as well. That's an IRC channel that I commonly hang out in. There's also a bunch of other very helpful people that hang out in there fairly regularly. Feel free to come in there and ask questions. Now, also don't think that you're necessarily going to get an answer right away. If we are there talking, you will get your answered question, question answered, hopefully, pretty fast. But uh, we're people with things to do other than answer your questions. So don't come in, answer a question, and leave right after a asking the question. 
Um, ask a question and wait for an answer. If people start talking and they don't answer your question, ask it again while people are talking. Hopefully you'll get an answer, but it may not be immediately. Um, also, feel free to hang out in there all the time. There are some people who are constantly in there. Very helpful. Uh, it's a great way for you to learn new stuff from what people are talking about and uh, from people asking questions and getting them answered. And as you learn, hopefully you can share what you learn with other people as they ask questions. I mean, that's what open source is about. It's about uh, improving technology, learning about technology, and helping one another do that. So, uh, I thank you for watching. Once again, I hope that you have a great day.